I had some story that I felt that now in my time, I felt that that, that wasn't necessary a step for my mother to have taken. I had my one auntie of mine. Yeah, she's quite autocratic a bit. She could just dictate to everybody like what they should do with their own lives. So by whichever manipulation or pollution that she gave to my mother, my mother left my father. But they didn't really tell me the deep, full story about why my mother left my father. And all those years, she never came back. She never thought of um, visiting no. to pro see pro Probably she came, but I didn't know her, so I didn't know anything until I got to that age. But even, if, even when I got to meet her, I, I didn't really still, I couldn't still reckon with myself that this is my mother. Which makes sense because you didn't yeah, grow up with like, her. I, I, I couldn't just, it's like sleeping and dreaming and you, you, you are awake, are you, sh you are wondering whether this is true, a dream or not a dream. That has been it for me. Until even 2014, 15, that I had a dawn in that. Charlie, just, just flow with this woman, just understand her. And understanding her for me was simply, was, was simply to just listen to her. Right. Was this a vision, the dawning? Was it a vision? Was, was this uh, one of the The dreams? dawning was more like a whisper that you hear, understand her. Just like, I, I, usually, I follow my heart a lot, so usually I listen to what many people will say, listen to your heart and all of that. So I listen to my heart a lot, so that was how it happened. But before that, my mother and myself, we never saw eye to eye. And I didn't want to be where she is. I didn't want to live with her. Um, growing up, I felt like I've been graced to know things, to see people's mistakes, to see people's faults. So I was using those to correct myself growing up, even from age six. Because I was seeing dreams, I was seeing visions. So those things were sort of like pathways for me that I was following. And that has been it for me. So when I finally decided to stay with my mother, that was like 2000 and 2003, when my father was sick, was really sick. And I think that was the time he died, 2002. So that's when I like fully moved to come and live with my mother. How did that feel? How was the beginning of that relationship like staying with your father, being raised by your sister, and then all of a sudden there's a complete switch? How was it like? Um, it wasn't something that I had settled down with easily. Even with that, my father and my mother were never on a, a consent uh, thought or matter. Because I remember the first time I came to Accra to meet my mother, she wanted me to stay. So literally, I would say, she forced me to say. So I had to come back here to come and go to school like a year. My father said no. After vacation, <laughs> I went back to my hometown. This person said no. So they were just throwing me back and forth like that. So all of that added up to why I didn't really want to stay with my mother. So for a bit after my father died, I was just moving between my brothers and finally stayed with my mother. But even that, I didn't stay. I moved to go and be with a friend in his grandmother's house. And I'd stay with them for eight years before I finally was able to take money to rent my own place and move to be there. 